Hi guys, Nay from our humble homestead here and today I'm sharing a video about tomato care tips. How you can successfully prune um, your tomatoes, different methods of <laughs> different methods of um, trellising them, things like that. Just little things that I've learned that will help you if you're new to growing tomatoes or you've made mistakes and got a lot of blight um, and not a great successful harvest like I didn't last year. I've learnt a lot and I want to share what I've learnt and help others. So I'll show you what I'm growing and switch my camera around. So here I've got um, three tomatoes growing up along my, or the back of my um, raised bed that I had on my brassicas in. I've ripped them all out. I'm gonna um, make kimchi and stuff out of all my cabbages and I've eaten loads of broccoli and I'm gonna use all the leaves in a roast dinner and some soups and stuff like that. Um, so this bed is now for summer crops. I'm gonna use it completely for tomatoes and peppers because I've got so many growing on my windowsill that I started a few months ago which I shared a video about um, on my channel. So these are the ones that I grew. I started from seed, if you guys have watched my video before, or anyone watching. Um, this one on the end is the yellow sun gold cherry tomato, which are just for snacking, for salads, for the kids and me. Um, and I wanted to try the yellow ones because my neighbors gave me some last year and they're really lush. So um, I'm excited to try those. The middle one, I've put a black beauty tomato here um if you've heard me on my videos talk about that before it's the heirloom variety it's quite like a rare um i found them online after watching another of my favorite youtubers plant them last year so yeah i want wanted to try them i'm looking forward to that they're like a black smoky tomato really rich i can't wait to try them and like grill them on the barbecue and stuff like that and this one is a Am Amish, Amish paste Amish paste. So Amish paste is a canning tomato. They're great for pasta sauces. Um, I'm gonna scatter these all around the sunniest fence of, along the sunniest fence of our garden um, and tie them up to the fence and just grow them anywhere I can find a space so I can grow as many as possible and make it a lot of pasta and pizza sauce. So I'm just wanting to show you how you can, um, what method I'm using and just some information and tips that I've learned about tomatoes that might be really helpful for you if you're growing them for the first time or um, you didn't already know. So tomatoes are, these have been inside for too long. They are a bit root bound. They should have been planted out ages ago, but the weather was pants. So now the weather's better, I'm out planting my hot, warm stuff. Tomatoes are really cool in that you can bury them deep. They grow roots from their stem. So I don't know if you can see here, I can show the camera. You see all these like little nodules, that will grow roots. If you bury it, bury that deep, it will grow roots and it will create a stronger plant. It will, so rather than it, the wind blowing here and sort of, um, it could potentially snap, you know, if it's not strong enough. I've already hardened them off. But if you plant it deeper, obviously, it grows more of a root st structure. It's a sturdier plant and it can access more nutrients. So it's always good to plant them a bit deeper, your tomatoes. So I'm probably going to plant them here and the little nodules I showed you will turn into roots. So I'm just going to, I just use my hands to dig a deeper hole as possible. And you can even plant them sideways like this. And this, it will always lean up to the sun so some people do plant them like that if they've got a wonky plant and it doesn't matter because it will always eventually reach up for the light and go up towards the sun so it's digging that in really deep in line with this bit of the trellis because i'm going to tie it up here and single stem it um single stemming is a method of tomato trellising that helps keep it tidy, um, it gives you less chance of disease, it's easier to prune, it looks nice and you can plant them closer together then with um, more production if they're not just going wild and bushy everywhere. So that's just, there we go. So I've got those three planted, that quick and easy. I'm just gonna water them in and um, tie them up with some garden string on the first bit. Now, what else I wanted to share on this video is pruning. So you want to take off 
the bottom leaves of your plant. Um, and this helps to give airflow to the bottom of your tomatoes so that you're not um, likely to get as many funguses. Um, tomatoes are really prone to a fungus called blight and it's a soil borne fungus. So if your leaves are touching the soil, you're likely to get much more likely to get blight on your tomatoes early and it will affect the growth of your plant and obviously your harvest. So that's really important. You want lots of airflow. I just probably give about that much space. I take all the leafage off up to here um, and that will really, really help them. And do the same for this one. I just use my fingers and pluck them off. You can use pruners if you want to. Um, and then I will just continue single stem trellising them up here. And it's really easy for me to see the little suckers um, when I need to prune them off um, and easily pick them off. So suckers are the part of the plant. You can see here in the elbow of your plant, you can get what's called a sucker. And they're called suckers because they suck the energy out of your plant. Probably see, can you see one here? I haven't actually got any of these ones. See, this one is starting to grow. That little sucker there. So, yeah, a sucker takes all the energy or puts more energy into another stem rather than the single stem that you want, the main leader. It's called the leading stem, and the shoots coming off of it producing fruit you kind of just want all its energy to go into the way you want it to grow if that makes sense um otherwise it would just grow everywhere <laughs> and it wouldn't be as easy to keep the airflow um preventing disease and you know you just couldn't um plant them as close together because they'd be a lot bigger and the leaves would be touching each other and you'd probably get more splash black etc 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 so yeah, that's um, just a couple of top tips. I hope that's helped with tomato care. And when watering as well, something else I want to point out is if you water here, I, I tend to not water up close and spray. Because when you spray the leaves, my leaves hate getting wet and that also helps prevent um, fungal issues and things like that as well. So I just water at the base around here so it keeps all the leaves dry. Um, and it's just, yeah, they just like being warm, really warm. Um, good moisture retention in the soil it really helps when you've got a raised bed I've got a Hugel culture method in this bed so this bed is really good at moisture retention it's got homemade compost duck bedding um, logs in the bottom so it's going to be really really nutritious and nitrogen and phosphorus rich for successful tomatoes so I'm really looking forward to that something else to mention as well is the suckers or the um, extra branches that you pluck off the bottom you can actually plant into the soil or pop them in a cup of water and they will start to root here and create another plant so here i've got what maybe another six tomato plants if i wanted more um that's how amazing creation is and even if i didn't want them i could sell them um just get creative you know there's ways of just being more sustainable um, and not having to spend a couple of quid each at the shops. You can just create your own tomatoes. I could literally do that, water it in, and it would probably root. So that's really cool. I've got enough, so I'll probably just put these in the compost for today. But it's just a little helpful tip to know if you wanna. Another tip I've learned with tomatoes is they really like um, benefit, sorry, they really benefit from companion planting. So I've got these marigolds, you can buy trays of these, they're normally like four or five quid in a lot of the garden centres I've seen, but I found these in Home Bargains for £1.49, so I was mega chuffed when I saw these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to interplant, um, they call it companion planting, in between each of these plants I'm just going to put a marigold plant, and this will help, these marigolds help, um, what do they call it, like, um, deter deter bugs you know those nasty bugs that um eat your leaves um 
and that really like tomatoes. Well, marigolds really put off the the ones that like tomatoes, apparently. I don't know what bugs that they put off, but it helps them and they look pretty. So I've got yellow ones and a couple of ready kind of ones to go in between here. So when they fruit and all the fruits all colourful on the trellis, I love the fact that I've got like pretty flowers in between that just like make it more rainbow coloured. <laughs> so yeah, that's also a really good top tip when planting your tomatoes, grab some marigolds or do some research on what you can companion plant with what plant you're planting just to help um, pest pressure and stuff like that and look pretty as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you want any more gardening and homesteading tips and thanks for watching. <laughs>